Hello, and thank you for joining us to learn another of the many tips and tricks that will help you get the most out of QuoteWorks. Today, we'll demonstrate importing product price lists into product folders and subfolders. In QuoteWorks, products are retrieved from product databases that can get very large. Organizing products effectively is essential for quick retrieval. Understanding product folders and subfolders will go a long way towards achieving this organization. We've got a sample CSV file here with 14 products organized into categories and subcategories. We'll use these categories and subcategories for our folders and subfolders. So let's switch back to QuoteWorks and get started. First, we'll create a new product database that we can import these products into. So we'll go to Products, Set up Product Sources. To create a new database, we'll click New and just walk through the wizard. And we'll call it demo import. And then let's take a look at our new database. So the demo import database is initially empty and it comes with one default miscellaneous folder. So let's try importing our price list into this database. To do the import, we'll go to products and then import wizard. And first we will select our CSV file. And notice that all of these settings are detected automatically. So we can just click next. And we will map a few of our standard fields. And then on the advanced mapping tab, we can take care of our folders. So we'll use the QuoteWorks field called folder name. So let's scroll down to that. And we can map that to some of our source data. Now we could select something like category and click the map button, which starts our mapping for us, but this leaves out the subcategory. So to expand on this mapping, we can click on the properties button, and here we can build out a full path. Folder paths in QuoteWorks are written the same way that they are in Windows, using a backslash between folder levels. When a folder like QuoteWorks appears inside of a folder like Program Files, it is written as Program Files backslash QuoteWorks. We can do the same thing here with our fields. So we can write something like Field 6 backslash Field 7. In this manner, anything in field 7 will become a subfolder of its corresponding field 6 value. So looking back at our CSV file, we can see we'll have top level folders of TV and storage, and then inside of TV we'll have plasma and LCD, and inside of storage we'll have 5400 RPM, 7200 RPM, and SSD. So we'll click OK to accept the mapping, and then click Next. Here we'll select the database to import into and we'll choose to start at row 2 since row 1 has our headers and we'll make sure to check create product folder since they don't exist yet. We'll leave the import mode on delete the existing products and append the new products since the database is currently empty. And when we click next we'll have the option to save a template but we're not going to worry about that today. So then we'll click start import. We'll be asked to confirm so we click yes. And when the import is complete, we'll have the option to view the log file. Let's take a look. Inside the log file, notice the references to each of the folders and subfolders being created for us. So let's take a look at the product database and see if they're in there. So when we come back inside of demo import, we now see the storage folder and the TV folder, and then the subfolders of 5400, 7200, SSD, LCD, and Plasma. Note that at any time, you can always click the Show All button and see everything in the product database. So as you can see, importing products and taking advantage of the organized product folders is quick and easy and will definitely help you get the most out of QuoteWorks.